Dear Kitten, there's something that I need to warn you about. Today is going to get weird. You know how normally the humans sit in front of that light box? It's quite lovely, actually. They just sit there for hours. And they don't disturb the little people that live inside the light box at all. But on one day a year, everything changes. Oh, come on, it's just a doorbell. How many times do I have to tell you it's like the human way of meowing outside of a closed door? Just lazier. Okay, fine. I'll join you under the light box stand. Dear Kitten, the first thing that happens is all these new humans arrive. Then they gather up every single thing that we sleep on. And then they try to take up as much room as they can in the dumbest looking way possible. Hey, Kitten. <laughs> kitten. Check it out. I'm taking up all the room. <laughs> you try one. Like pretend you're a sausage that lost its will to live. <laughs> That's the spirit. Wait, I got another one. Check me out. Kitty got a big belly. But all joking aside, there is no place for us to nap. We are doomed. Dear Kitten, after they have all assembled in the room of comfortable things, they bring out a cornucopia of human moist food. I'm not totally sure if the objective is to get it into or near the mouth hole. Maybe it's like bache, like you get points for being close. It really goes everywhere. On their face. Oh, actually, you have a little something right there. Let me get that. All right, calm down, Sir Hisselot. Don't kill the messenger. Dear Kitten, you see how some of the humans are wearing traditional robes of some sort. I can't tell what they signify in terms of status, but I am pretty sure that one is the idiot. The humans seem to have some sort of a ritual. When the light box suddenly gets loud, all of the humans try to be the first to jump up and shout louder than anyone else. The person who gets up the fastest is the winner and gets to hit people with his paws. The slowest people to get up are then taunted for their inadequacies, and they become very sad. It's actually quite a cruel game, but it's a cruel world. Dear Kitten, you've probably noticed these strange metal cylinders. It seems to be a device that the humans use to suck out their intelligence, kind of like the vacuum. But instead of sucking dirt, it sucks out judgment and common sense. Look, see? Yes, sure, one time I tried it, by accident. And you know what? The next morning I woke up feeling terrible, wearing another cat's collar. And I may or may not have been inside of a sock. Don't ask, because I don't remember. Dear Kitten, I know with this sort of madness, your instinct is to hide, but there's a bigger play here. I need you right up in there. I mean jump on people's laps and try to walk across the table of sloppy sauces. If you can find someone who sneezes every time you get near them, get near them. And when it's time, you just walk right in front of the light box and sit down like you don't know what's going on. And then three, two, one, that's right, kitty get an airplane ride. A little private jet to the only prize worth competing for. A can of moist, delicious wet food. And touchdown. Works every time. Kitty get what he wants. Fly, kitty, fly.